What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Shooting Gallery New England. My name is Joe. Today we got another holster video for you so I hope you enjoyed it. Got some good and kind of not bad things to say about it but we're checking out the JM4 Tactical in the waistband holster. Let's check it out. Now for YouTube's purposes, all the shooting footage on this video was conducted and shot at a safe location and everything was shot in a safe direction at Cape Gunwares. So we were wearing our eyes and ear protection. Everything was followed. The ventilation system was on in the indoor range so all safety protocols were followed. Let's enjoy the video. So welcome back to the channel guys. I really appreciate you joining us today. So I wanna preface this video. We're actually gonna be going over a in the waistband holster for a Ruger Security 9 Compact. Now, again, I can't state this enough. I, this video is not a negative review. This is just my experience with the holster. Um, and I just wanna also preface this that yes, JM4 Tactical did send me this and another holster to try out. It's the same thing, but different color. Uh, we have, they offer it in black and brown, but this is a leather in the waistband carry. It's run by two neodymium magnets. We're gonna check that out in a second, but I do just wanna make that clear. They did send me this holster and JM4 Tactical are amazing people. They make great products. Stay tuned to let you know what I actually think. So like I said guys, the JM4 Tactical in the waistband holster, let me give you a brief synopsis. They're American made, uh, I believe out of Texas. Uh, they make holsters for literally any type of gun you think of. Uh, they run two types, especially for in the waistband. Uh, this model is their, let's see, it just says magnetic holster. Now this is the packaging they come in. Great packaging, it's not too flashy. Uh, now. Some of the benefits for this holster, it fastens quickly and holds strong to any clothing, including jeans, sweats, shorts, leggings, slacks, you name it. No clips or snaps to struggle with or fastening, uh, no metal parts to snag or damage clothing, comfortable to wear and does not require a belt or strap. Quick on and off with no hassle. So this is kind of like a universal carry holster. I chose this for the Ruger Security 9. And again, for YouTube's purposes out there, it's clear. The mag is over there because it actually has a hot mag, so there's gonna be no magazine in the gun. Um, I wanted to try out a holster because I was at one point considering carrying the Ruger Security 9 compact. So I reached out to JM4 Tactical and they sent me a couple holsters to try out. Now, let's check out the shooting footage and I'll go over some of the experiences I had with it. Now that the gun is empty, this is why I have a little bit of an issue with the JM4 Tactical holster. Now, the gun is pointing in a safe direction. I still have the JM4 Tactical holster in my waistband. So, if you're thinking of it logically, you're going to reholster after engaging a target. I am not a trainer, I am not a training guru, so please do not take this as gospel, but I will talk about this further in the video, but I need to demonstrate this on a safe and uh, controlled range. We are here at Cape Gunworks, so this is why I have a small issue. The firearm is unloaded. If I were to reholster this firearm, I would have to, again, with this being a leather holster, naturally it's going to my, uh, shrink with the weight of my body and the movement of my pants. So, with the spire in a safe direction, it is clear, it is unloaded. Now, I would have to go like this as I go to reholster. I am flagging myself. The muzzle is pointed directly into my, my thigh femoral artery region, and then I reholster. Now, with this being a leather holster having the neodymium magnets, I could theoretically just, with that, okay, pull the holster out and then reholster it like that and it's concealed. Let's get back up top and discuss this holster a little bit more in depth. So, as you can see from the footage, there's a little bit of an issue that I personally had with it. Not with the holster, I can't stress enough, this is a high quality holster. 
it works, it has good retention. Again, it's held by two neodymium magnets and these are the strongest effing magnets I have ever had the opportunity to try out. There's no joke, I've tried wearing these with shorts, I've tried wearing these with sweatpants, it's a rare occasion I wear sweatpants, I'm usually a jeans guy, and I cannot stress enough the comfortability of this holster, okay? If you're looking to get a gun that's kinda like, you know, I can't find holsters, I would definitely check out JM4 Tactical. But, as you saw from the video, and then I was discussing it with my, you know, trainer that I have been working with, his name is Ben DeWalt from Onsite Firearms Training. Great trainer, I really appreciate his input. And he kinda explained to me, okay, for a pistol like that, and for a holster like that, for reholstering, the only issue I had with it is I was essentially flagging myself for reholstering. Now, JM4 Tactical explains it as if you're going to reholster, it's a different training method. Again, training with the holster is key. So don't take what I'm saying as I'm trashing this holster, I'm not. I actually like it. It fits a specific purpose, it just doesn't fit it for me. But they explain it as if you need to reholster, say, again, it's clear. If you need to reholster, you make sure the gun is clear and safe, take it out, slide it in, and then you can just flick it into where you carry, and there you go, that is reholstering. I'm used to doing it like a Kydex, and where it's just, I can lift up a little bit and just reholster, that's how I do it, and that's how I've learned to train. That's the only experience that I've had with it, so again, don't take this as I'm trashing JM4 Tactical, I'm not. Love those guys, I love the idea of this holster. Now, another couple things I wanted to discuss about the JM4 Tactical Holster, which I had to put it over here during this video. Now, the JM4 Tactical Holster, again, it's affordable. What I like about this is that the comfortability, bar none, the most comfortable holster I have ever carried for a small gun. I'd like to definitely, I might even consider checking out this holster for a Glock 19 down the road for certain situations. If I'm just running to the store real quick and I'm, again, the rare occasion I wear shorts, I'm a big dude, so wearing shorts is kind of tough when it comes to drawstrings, but also I want to be able to have a firearm on me in the event something happens, I am able to protect myself or my family. Now, that is what I think this holster is designed for me. I do like this holster, I cannot stress this enough. It's just, from a training standpoint, it's more of a training curve that I am used to because again, I've been training a lot with reholstering and kind of shooting, do a couple quick shots, reholster. That's how I've been training recently with Kydex. Now, this is a new training that you'd have to do. I'm not a firearms instructor or a defensive pistol instructor. So what I wanna stress is that, please make sure you train with this, dry fire, make sure it works for you with any holster. I've been car I carried this for about a month and a half, two months. I will say another good pro about this is your sweat guard, this one comes right over the butt of the slide. Now, that's good for me because again, since I'm a fat guy, it's not gonna be digging into my, you know, my, my muffin top or whatever the hell you wanna call it. It sits very low for the holster. This sits pretty low in your pants. They do have a higher rise model if you want to have it a little bit higher, but for a low rise, it fits like a glove. Um, so it's another pro. Again, and they're coming in at about, they go from 84 to sometimes you can get over $100. Because again, this is genuine leather. So you will, you might have to break this in a little bit. But for comfortability and ease of taking on and off, it works. So guys, that is my review of the JM4 Tactical in the waistband holster. I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope you got some type of knowledge out of it. And again, I can't stress this enough. I actually like the holster. It's just, it for what I use for carry, it is a different style of carry and training I need to do to get a little bit more accurate with it and a little bit more like comfortable with it. Um, I can't stress this enough. JM4 Tactical are great people. So again, thank you guys so much to JM4 Tactical for sending me these two holsters to try out for the Ruger Security 9 Compact. Um, I would recommend this for people that are, again, they wear a lot of like active wear, leggings, they wear a lot of basketball shorts. You have an ability now to carry a gun, which is a huge I'm a huge proponent of because you can still have a firearm on you to defend yourself in whatever type of 
clothing you want to wear and it is comfortable. Comfortability is the biggest plus on this and for the price where it comes in at around 85 bucks. Genuine leather, American made, JM4 Tackler, great stuff. You wanna check this out, check out my link tree in the description uh, and big shout out to Cape Gunworks again for letting me use the range uh, for the shooting portion of this. There isn't a lot of shooting with uh, the JM4 Tactical just because time restraints and stuff like that, but it's a holster. It's, it works, it does what it's intended to do, it carries my firearm comfortably, it does have good retention with the neodymium magnets, comes at an affordable price. But if you're in the highest Massachusetts area, check out Cape Gunworks at 96 Airport Road. And as always, stay safe, stay shooting. I'm gonna see you guys soon. Peace.